soul family what's going on this is the phoenix cloud tarot thank you so much for joining me my name is isa i'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and i'm doing the darn thing today for aquarius sun moon rising venus and a cross watcher yes what's up guys it's very good to see you it is october i can't even believe i'm saying that this is going to be your reading for the first half of october please keep in mind this is very general energy anything could come out right and what that also means is that you know the messages are not going to resonate for everybody so please take whatever nuggets are for you um leave what nuggets are not for you and if nothing resonates at all definitely uh, check the moon and rising videos and if those don't resonate for you at all please feel free to check out another reader because I may not be your person today and that's perfectly okay you can come back at any time energy time all fluid time doesn't even exist you know um, so I always feel like when you hear the messages is when you're meant to you know receive or get a nugget from the message okay Anything you need to know about me is going to be in the description in the description box down below. That Mercury retrograde is coming. I feel it. Um, like the cards I use, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, that kind of stuff. And last but not least, guys, if you like this video, if you get any nugget from this, if any part of it resonates for you, show me some love. Encourage me to keep going and doing what I do by liking the video. And if you really, really like it, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Become part of the tribe. This is the Tarot Dome. Hit the notifications button and it will let you know every time I'm up here being goofy and being weird all right and doing this all right guys so I have a kind of a different structure that I'm doing right now and I'm kind of liking it sometimes I just go with whatever's flowing for me and I chose three cards from three different decks this month for you in October. One of them is The Soul's Journey by James Von Prague. And that's kind of like maybe what you're dealing with, maybe what you get to look at, maybe what you get to break through, maybe some energy that's residual, that's something you need to, you know, let go of. Um, I also have a card from The Power of Surrender, which is about like, what do you need to surrender in order to have, you know, more clarity, move forward, um, just what you might need to surrender, period, that's not serving you, something you might need to pay attention to that's going to support you moving forward. And then I have the Moonology card, which is so funny because, I feel like every time I'm doing this for every sign, I'm getting almost every signs like moon in blah, blah, blah. I got yours, new moon in Aquarius. So I have the moonology out because we just had the full moon like two or three days ago and just whatever energy that's bringing for the month. Okay, so I'm going to start with the moonology card. Moonology uh, says bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So Aquarius, there could be a situation like you're having trouble with. Uh, maybe it's a situation with yourself or a situation outside of yourself with another person. Um, and it's basically asking for more love. And anytime a situation is asking for more love, I often feel that it's asking me also to have more love within myself for the situation, not necessarily bringing it there to the other person, but it's what's also required of me to have what I'm looking for, right? So you guys have the um, bring love into the situation. Now, what's interesting about this is that for your power of surrender, you actually have surrender resentments. And I feel like this works hand in hand with bring love into the situation. So resentments, we often have those because we're stuck in a place where we're unable to forgive other people. But I've said this a lot in my videos, forgiveness is not just about forgiving another person. It's really a deeper thing that has to do with forgiveness for ourselves, right? So I can feel resentment toward myself, anger at myself, unforgiveness of myself, especially if I keep doing the same thing over and over again, right? So I almost feel like there's a little bit of bring love for yourself into the situation as well as bringing love to the outside situation that you're dealing with, okay? And surrender resentment 
surrender resentments says holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life, okay? So letting go of bad juju, right? Bad juju. Love. Bring more love to that situation. That's probably what it needs anyway, right? Because maybe that was missing in the first place. Who knows? I don't know, Aquarius. You know this stuff, all right? So um, you could be feeling some resentments, a little bit of anger, unforgiveness. Now is definitely the time to let that stuff go so you can move forward. And when we forgive, we allow other people to move forward too because it's like creates an energetic vortex of like, you know, someone may be trying to break free from that, but you're, you know, resentful and angry and it just kind of, they can feel that. That's, that's what I'm getting at. Okay. Aqua. All right. Now for your soul's journey, uh, lesson cards, what one of your lessons could be, something you need to break through, pay attention to, um, clear up, work through, whatever it is for you guys is denial. I thought this was really interesting because it seems like all three of these cards really sort of mesh together. So I feel for those who are open to hearing it, there's an important message about something that's keeping you stuck. And if you get this, you, you know, you have this sort of breakthrough in it. Okay. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, which is the opposite of love, which the universe, spirit, God, whatever you believe in is asking you to bring more of because there is a lot of fear, right? I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness, Awareness is what happens when we pull the subconscious energy to the forefront, to our awareness. A lot of us operate from places on a autopilot, a repeat, because we are lacking the awareness, which is not a bad thing. We all have to go through our own processes to understand, right, to bring things to our awareness it's like, unless we have that awakening, right, a real awakening, we don't have the awareness to understand something like being in denial, right? Because denial is a, a very strong energy. It will have people go look to other people to make them right. Denial is all about that energy of being right or being wrong. And nobody looks loves likes wants to be wrong none of that right so we can be very heavily in denial and then go to find things to back up the fact that it's okay for us to be in denial and i feel like the energy this month is giving you an opportunity to notice that bringing it to your awareness if there's some place that you're in denial about something in your life it could be letting go of a relationship something very deeply personal you know, within your own, uh, you know, mental, spiritual body, um, you know, but this is about acknowledging that there's a fear there that's bringing up the denial, if that makes sense. Okay. All right. So let's get into the reading guys and see the messages that spirit has for you today, please. For the month of November, I love these cards and they're so difficult like challenging for me to shuffle because they're kind of thick like they don't really bend sorry that's me complaining i'm not attitude of gratitude attitude of gratitude all right aquarius all right spirit what are the messages you have here for aquarius what does aquarius need to know please in october interesting you're starting out with leo energy the strength card okay what else oh interesting you could have a lot of options aquarius or you're very confused about somebody who's cancer pisces scorpio or a leo here um there could be like you really trying to hold back or pull back from like oh what's what am i trying to say here 
an animalistic side of yourself, right? Like um, kind of taming, taming yourself, taming your illusions, taming your confusion, okay? So some of you could be working at taming your confusion. Some of you could be dealing with a lot of confusion surrounding somebody who's a Leo, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay? Very interesting, taming the illusions, wow. Okay, what else do we have here for Aquarius, please? Oh, you, the star card. Okay, what does Aquarius need to know here for October? Aquarius, doing a lot of healing. Um, diving into, like you've been, I feel almost like you've been waiting for this kind of calm after the storm. Um, and trying to learn, like learning, studying, uh, you may be into the occult, you may be into spiritual stuff, whatever it is, but it's almost like spirit is overseeing what's happening with you right now, even if it's not in your awareness, okay, especially when it comes to whatever this situation is with um, this like taming the illusionary kind of thing okay so this could be a work that you're doing or there's like this energy of something watching over a connection between you uh and a cancer pisces scorpio or a leo okay but we have you being here in your energy aquarius all right alchemy and balance um and i think you're doing some things on a spiritual level learning reading books uh, maybe surfing the internet, looking up some stuff, right? Uh, I just got that somebody may be experiencing some kind of like dark night of the soul energy. All right. What other messages does Aquarius need to know here in October, please? You have Knight of Swords and Page of Wands. So I almost feel like this is contemplating rushing back into something. There's some young sort of out of controlness about this with the Knight of Swords. This is Aquarius Libra Gemini energy with this Aries Leo Sag. So again, we have Leo here, um, fire energy. And they're facing away from each other. So I feel like there's a possibility you turned your back on, you ran away from somebody or somebody turned their back on you. Or maybe this was a mutual thing. Like you went off running and this person also turned their back because they were like, okay, cool. Like Aquarius is running away. I'm gonna just go do my thing, all right? But I also feel like this is a, a talk, a conversation, a message possibly about why this happened um could be from your person something like this or this is like a, a change in directions it almost feels like running back to something here aquarius so some of you may be going back to somebody because you want to talk to them like uh contacting them very quickly i feel like if you make this decision or somebody makes this decision to reach out to you that it's like very hasty right but knight of swords represents a person who's always running into things before they think about it before they like truly think about it they could be overzealous, a little, um, you know, overly ambitious. This could be you or your person. Uh, but this is really like thinking on your feet, but like not thinking things all the way through. Where if this came with a page of pentacles, I'd be like, oh, okay, this person might rush into things, but they plan things out before they rush into it. This is not that because this Aries Leo Sag energy is all about action. It can also be about, um, you know, things that are more physical in the body, like, you know, uh, dating, sex, that kind of energy, but I'm not feeling that really strongly here. What I feel more is that this is that spirit of um, like just spontaneity and this gets somebody in trouble when they do that, right? Any other messages here for Aquarius, please, in October? Oh, yeah, King of Wands came out. 
Oof. Okay. So we have the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Wands. I almost feel like somebody feels really happy being in a situation where they're single and independent. Um, but there's, it's weird. Um, I think they could be back and forth about this energy. Maybe for some, what this is saying is that your happiness was with somebody who's a fire energy, Aries Leo Sag, since we have the Ten of Pentacles and we have this King of Wands. But this could be entrepreneurial success as well. So uh, here in October, I think some of you might have some really good ideas um, about making money and things like that. But this feels more like it has to do with the relationship. Okay, so it's like somebody wants the relationship and they want all this freedom and independence. And that's fine. But if you do that without the commitment right? Because these wands represent people in certain situations that have commitment issues. It's not going to work out too well unless you choose a partner who is okay with you doing all the things, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> um, I'm getting a little bit of this energy. It's like a person who wants this absolute freedom to do whatever but also wants this happiness in a relationship and you don't always get the two you might have to look you know for a while to find that but I also feel like there this has to do with anger and resentment toward uh, a situation where somebody was happy okay in um, in a family setting like things were very stable and somebody was not stable but they have resentments toward this and I feel like you know it could be the person who walked away from this like that doesn't make much sense why you would be angry if you left a situation that was stable but you weren't really committed anyway I don't know you know people change and go through a lot of different things but that's kind of what I'm getting here what else do we have here for Aquarius, please? What does Aquarius need to know for October? You, wow, two of cups and the five of pentacles. Somebody missed the big picture here um, and now feels very left out in the cold or Aquarius, you left somebody else out in the cold here. Um, so it could be your Aries Leo Sag person that I feel like I'm seeing here was happy in a situation they thought was really stable um and it doesn't seem like it was like either they got left out in the cold by you or you left them you know you walked away from this somebody may have moved out this is my moving out card too separating moving out but Whoever it was, whether it was you or them, somebody was standing by you like they were willing to go through the snow and whatever, you know, trail behind you, be the leader or whatever it was in this uh, very soulmate-y kind of energy, right? So somebody put a soulmate out, you know, somebody let go of somebody here in this situation. And I feel almost this energy of like wanting to rush back. Um, but it feels very much like the two of you are um, not acknowledging each other, right? Okay, like you're separated, you're not talking, you like ran away from each other. Like I said, like a mutual energy. What else do we have here for Aquarius, please? What's coming for Aquarius in October? Oh, shit. I mean, wow, Aquarius, either you're really defensive and really angry, really hurt, like in a nasty energy, like, well, fuck you, or <laughs> your person is, I'm sorry, like, I don't even know how to even deal with this right now, like, maybe there's an element of, um, you know, that resentment energy again, somebody here is really, like, 
there's fighting, there's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here, um, Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands. So you got somebody setting boundaries, backing you off or you backing somebody off. Somebody is really like tired of fighting here or has been through a lot. And then there's somebody here who is just taking advantage of a situation and not really caring how somebody felt, okay? So um, winning at all costs and not really caring about what the damage is here. It could be your person, Aquarius. Um, but I would say somebody is definitely, you know, fighting for themselves and setting boundaries, right? Um, so really interesting. I don't even know what happened here. But it's weird because it's kind of contradictory a little bit. It's like... It's almost like Aquarius, you love somebody still that either you had to break up with or they broke up with you or something. And there's like this resentment about that. Okay. Um, whoever it was, was happy in their stable situation. But, you know, one person kind of coldly left somebody else like they just ditched a, a soulmate situation here. And now there's a lot of like anger, resentment, maybe even denial about it, okay? What's the overall energy of this reading, please, for Aquarius? What do I do now? <laughs> uh, waiting for the ships to come in. I almost feel like somebody is waiting for somebody to come back. That's really interesting. I've never gotten that. Um, now, with the three of wands again this is aries leo sag and ten of wands and aries leo sag uh, i'm telling you you're dealing with a fire sign here for sure many of you okay this three of wands is like um overall energy i feel like this is either waiting for your ships to come in waiting for the next thing like you know not wanting to let go of somebody waiting for them to come back or waiting to see if they'll come back and this could very well be your person because it is their kind of energy but this is also the action of putting a decision that's made behind you and taking a wand and being on a new adventure to see what's coming forward waiting for the ship to come that's going to take you someplace else okay so i feel like some of you are just really moving on you don't want to you don't want to put this fully behind you but i think that you're trying to so now i understand why it's like bring love into the situation because somebody here may have a lot of energy on this okay so let's go ahead i want to look at how your person feels about you aquarius how does aquarius's person feel about you and then we're going to look at how you feel about them and your next steps okay oh. Well, the reconciliation card came out. How does Aquarius's person feel about Aquarius? Yeah, this person um, has figured some things out. They've gotten smart about this situation um, with the hanged man. Knight of Swords, they feel like you, Aquarius, are a person who is out of control, like you don't make very good decisions, you really just rush into things, um, you know, and with the Hangman, it's like they understand that now, like they see you differently, they have a new perspective on the truth about you, okay, uh, I say the truth here, I'm sorry if it hurts, um, they do want to heal, I think they want to heal from this. They want to heal with you. I did get the six of cups out as soon as I started to shovel, shovel, shuffle. It flipped out. Okay. So this person does want to heal. They want alchemy. They want, you know, balance. They want things to change. And I think they want that for you too, Aquarius. They could be spending a lot of time alone. All right. They feel like this was an unfair situation, whatever this is. But this person knows better now for whatever reason that is, all right? Because if you left this person, Aquarius, let's say you left them um, or they left you, they might be seeing things from another perspective. So for some, 
This is going to be somebody feeling like they rushed into a decision. Now they now they feel bad. They're seeing it from another perspective and they rushed into something. They rushed into, um, you know, judgment. Um, and for others, it's the other way around. They feel like you did that. You rushed into a judgment and like on the fly did something. OK, what is Aquarius's person's next steps toward Aquarius, please, in October? <laughs> the hermit came out again. This person is in silence, man, Virgo. <laughs> they're spending time alone. Uh, their next steps toward you, they're just continuing to keep going. They're, they're wiser now, I want to say. Like, they're wiser now. They're learning. They are meditating. Um, and then we have five of pentacles. So this person... I almost feel like they're just trying to remain on the outside. I, I feel the fear, right? This this scared thing of like, what if, you know, maybe they don't want to come forward to you, Aquarius, or they're scared to talk to you for whatever reason because they left you out, right? They, they left you or you left them. You know what I mean? Okay, let's talk about Aquarius, how you feel about your person, and then I'm going to get an extra card or two for you guys, see if there's any other messages. How does Aquarius feel about their person, please? Defensive. Damn, Aquarius. <laughs> I'm going to take this card. Wheel of Fortune. You're leaving it up to destiny. How does Aquarius feel about their person? The Hierophant. So interesting. Y you feel like you've learned a lot from this person, Aquarius. This person feels like uh, you could see them as like a spiritual person. You could see them as like, oh, well, you know, like I... I some of you may want to actually fight for this person, fight for the connection, because this is a higher connection for you. You have two majors here um, with the seven of wands. So again, you have the Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Um, this person might have taught you a lot of things like life lessons. Um, you could also feel like this is actually your partner, like the person that you should be with, a uh, deep like because the Hierophant for me is is also marriage or engagement, like a person you really wanted to spend the rest of your life with, or maybe you feel that way, feeling that way, thinking those things and actually being in that life and, and living that life are two different things. We can think a lot of things. We can think in the background, you know, this person is my destiny, uh, which could be something that you're thinking about, but I think you're a little guarded Aquarius for whatever reason. All right, Spirit, what are Aquarius's next steps toward this person? Aquarius's next steps toward their person. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So Aquarius, looking to me like a lot of you want to talk to this person again, okay? I also feel like this is about forgiveness. But like I said when we first started, forgiveness is also about forgiving yourself. But we've got, you know, movement to go see somebody, forgiveness, reconnection here, um, the two of cups. You want to love this person. You, you want to talk to this person. I think you love and care about this person. Um, but you know, this is about surrendering resentments, putting resentments aside, not being in denial, bringing love into your situation. Okay. So really, really nice energy guys. I'm going to go ahead and get one more card for y'all. See if spirit has one or two more cards here. Any other messages here, please for Aquarius, the month of October. I think you're going to reconnect in October. Anything else Aquarius needs to know? Uh, isolation. So I see that. You could be spending a lot of time isolating or your person, since we've had the hermit out a couple of times here. You might be isolating or your person is. So you might have to kind of drag your person out of isolation. And I'm sure they're doing that for their own reason or you're doing it for your own reason. It sort of feels like a lot of weird mutual <laughs> energy. 
but we do have joy. We do have joy here, which is good. So experiencing a lot of joy in October. What did I say? Mysticism, right? I said somebody may be, you know, reading, looking into the occult. So some of you are really into this type of energy here in October. And then we have the facade. So I feel like somebody was being a certain way or living a certain way you your person I don't know uh, where there was a bit of a facade going on here so like um, portraying something that they really aren't so to speak you know like faking it uh, right so we've got that energy here so but I feel like the message in general if we're talking about for you this is about putting away any facade so if you're really Missing your person, love your person, whatever it is. It's like, come on now. You don't have to fake it. You know what I mean, Aquarius? It's like, don't fake it. You know, like be open, be honest, maybe share it with your friends, you know, and your person could be in a facade too. Like maybe they don't, you know, maybe they're, they're out acting like they don't miss you or they don't care. Okay. So you could be wearing another face. Like I really don't give a shit, but at the end of the day, you really do. That's kind of how I'm interpreting this message. So I would say, you know, Aquarius, uh, in, in, there's a lot of different messages here and a lot of different energy. Hopefully you got some, some nuggets here. In, hopefully you have a good reconnection if you decide that, you know, you're going to let this person reconnect with you or you're going to go connect with them. Um, I'm wishing you all the best if you guys got a nugget from here. Uh, in this video and if it resonated for you at any time please hit the like button show your girl some love and if you really like it please go ahead subscribe to the channel all right guys i will be seeing you mid-october until then bye aquarius